in the next two months, in the middle of this election campaign, the U.S. Supreme Court is likely to make a significant decision on abortion rights. Yes. Uh, say it, it might agree that states like Arizona, which has now put in place a 15-month a ban at 15 weeks, excuse me, uh, on, on abortion uh, that is in place and ready to go. That ban contains no exceptions for rape or incest. Are you comfortable with that law? I will be very honest, uh, both as, as just my personal p opinion and as well as my professional. Um, I, as you introduced me, I'm a sex crimes prosecutor for 25 years. And I've sat across the table from women who have gotten pregnant through rape, and I've sat across the table from kids that have gotten pregnant through incest. And so I think that is, while I will enforce the law, um, because it is not my role to say I'm not going to just blanket and not enforce the law, I think those situations perhaps are where prosecutorial discretion can be exercised. Because I do, I do look at that and say that is a, a very tragic situation. So in the case of a 15-week ban, you're okay with the ban, but discretion in those cases, perhaps in charging? I can't even see, frankly, it being submitted to our office in terms of um, a doctor. It, it, first of all, the person who has the abortion cannot be prosecuted under that law. Let's be clear about that. Um, it's for the doctors. I don't see that happening, but if it happens, obviously I can use discretion as to whether there is a reasonable likelihood of conviction. Um, but personally, I, I am pro-life, but I also have experienced that as a prosecutor sitting across from the table from people who have experienced that. Okay. And it's, um, it's tough. Okay. I want to end on a different note uh, because many people know you from your appearance before the uh, Senate Judi Judiciary Committee yes. uh, working as a questioner for them of <clears throat> just uh, then Judge Brett Kavanaugh and mm -hmm. Christine Blassie Ford in that confirmation hearing. Um, you might be the first county attorney candidate, county attorney who's ever been on profile <laughs> or portrayed on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I want to put that video up if we can show it. Now, okay, first of all, hello. My name is Rachel Mitchell. I'm here mostly for Twitter. <laughs> and although everyone will constantly be referring to me as female prosecutor, you can really just call me straight up prosecutor, okay? Were you able to hear that? I couldn't hear it, okay, but I've she, seen it she said, several yeah, times. Several times. My name is Rachel Mitchell. I'm here mostly for Twitter. <laughs> and you can really just uh, call me straight up prosecutor instead of female prosecutor and yeah. needs to know you were played by Phoenix's own A.D. Bryant. Yes. So kind of uh, worlds coming together. Why did you do that? You know, I thought it was a great opportunity. When I was in law school, I was very uh, intently watching the Clarence Thomas hearing. And regardless of who you believe in that situation, Clarence Thomas or uh, Anita Hill, the questions that were asked of her were simply not appropriate. And when I was asked to do this, my background is, uh, includes teaching people on how to interview victims of this type of offense. I saw it as a really great opportunity to ask her responsible questions in a, re in a respectful manner. And that's what I did. And also, people are wondering, how did the Senate Judiciary Committee find a Maricopa County deputy attorney to come to Washington? You know, I wasn't given the, the full... Uh, explanation of that. I know they interviewed other people. They interviewed somebody, for example, that said that he would be a bulldog and, quote, take her down. And uh, they didn't want that. And in fact, when they told me that, I said, well, if that's what you want, I'm not your person. They wanted uh, you to be a bulldog. No, no. They, when they told me the story that they had interviewed someone who had said that, I said, if that's what you want, that I'm not your person. And their response was, that's not what we want. Um, but, you know, I teach nationally, um, I've taught, uh, I've consulted with the Pentagon, I've taught for the U.S. Army, so I do have a national profile. Um, beyond that, I really can't, exp I can't tell you how they got to me, I don't know. Who tapped <laughs> you on the shoulder and say, said, hey, we want you to do this? Um, apparently the Senate Judiciary Committee reached out to Bill Montgomery. Bill called me, I was in my office the Friday before the hearing, and he said, they want you to interview Dr. Ford. Okay, and John Kyle, uh, Senator John Kyle, was Brett Kavanaugh's Sherpa, leading him through the confirmation at the time. So he was, but I hadn't, yeah. uh, I had not talked to Senator Kyle. In fact, I didn't see him till after the hearing. 
Interesting. Yeah. All right, got to end it there. Thank okay. you so much for your time. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you very much. When we come back, a look at the week ahead and why Valley Starbucks workers are expecting a big decision. Stay with us.